Okay, today I'm going to do a quick video on showing you how to move your tool database in vCard Pro from when you upgrade from one version to another. So I've been using this version right here, 11.016, and I had a custom tool database. I'll go ahead and show you that. So you got to get into create new file, just hit OK. Doesn't matter just to get into the tool database. Then you go over to your tool database over here and open that up. And I have this and I closed all these other ones out. So I got a master, a mana tool database, a speed tool database in there. And then the standard Imperial metric tools that the program loads in. But I've taken all of my, the tools that I use the most, I just created a new folder here called my tools. And I have these under my V bits in mills and in a surfacing bit. And when I opened the new program, so these are what I have in my version that I've been using. Okay. So let's go ahead and close that out. And let's go look into the new version. The new version I just uploaded or upgraded to is 11.504. So we go in here and create a new file. We go ahead and make a file just so we can get to our tool database. Click over here to the toolpath commands and open up our tool database. And all we have is the standard what the program comes with. All of my tools that I've added are gone now. So what we want to do is we want to be able to merge these tools over to the new one. Okay, so let's go back and look one more time. And this is our original version and our tool pass, our tool uh, database. So we've got my tools in here. That's what that thing's called. So I'm going to go ahead and reduce that down. Uh, I'm I'm not really worried about the Amana tool and the speed tool, but I think what this is going to do, this is going to move. Basically, it's going to move everything over that I have in this version. It's going to migrate it over to the new version, which is fine because this is what I've been using. I don't use all of them, but moving them over is fine. So what I want to do is I want to go back into the, and I'm going to show you how to access these things. This is kind of, this took some while to figure it out. So you have to have a file open. It doesn't matter what's in it, just a file open. And you come here to file and you open, open application data folder. And then right here, backups, and then tool databases. And the best that I can figure is that it's whatever the newest one that you have in here is. So like you have this uh, right here, it says 2023-205, which is the date today. So these are my newest ones that it's uploaded in here, okay? So that's where they locate the files. And, and you just go up through that. I'll go ahead and close this back out. So it's right here, file, open application data folder. And that gets you into that folder. And then it's backups, tool database. And that's where your backup files for your tool databases are. So what we want to do, so those are saved in the old version, in the 11.0 version. So what we want to do is we want to come into the new version. And we want to get into a new file, which we've already done that. If we hadn't done that yet, let's go ahead and... Uh, let's close that. So you, if you start out in the program brand new, you just want to go to create a new file and hit OK. Don't worry about what the settings are or anything. You just want to be in a file where you can access your tool data path commands right here. So tool path commands, and then you're in your tool paths, and then you open up your tool database right here. It looks like three little bits next to each other. So when you open that up, this is what you have. So you got some commands down here where you can add new folders, you can add new groups, uh, you can add a tool, you can delete a tool, you can delete a group, whatever selected up here, you can delete, and then you can export selected tools and groups. So what we want to do is we want to import a tool database. So if you click on that, and this may or may not, because I've been in it before, so you might want to copy this down right here. So you want to go into your Windows, Program Data, Vectric, VCarve Pro, VCarve 11.0, and I'll come back to this, Backups, Tool Database, and that gets you here. So if we back up a little bit, if you go into Vectric, just into the Vectrix folder, VCarve Pro, and it pulls up both versions that I have on my machine right now. And that's one thing, too, when... When Vectrix does an upgrade, it does not remove the old version off of your machine. So you're manually going to have to go in there and remove that once you know you've got everything migrated over to the new program. So what I want to do, so I'm opening up, I want to get 
the tool database out of my old version. So when I go in here at Vectrix VCAR Pro, I want to select uh, version 11.0 because that's where my tool database that I want to move to 11.5 is at. So we're going to hit open and then we go to backups, tool database, and right here, this is my date. So 223, that's the year, February the 5th, that's today. And I don't know why these dates here say it was modified on 2.1, but that's my latest version right there. So you find whatever your latest version is. And if it's not right, I'll show you how you can delete it if it's if you don't end up with the right one. So let's pick that one. We'll hit open. And this right here, it will it'll duplicate, it'll do all kinds of things. I just ended up choosing the merge right here. And and I'll show you what it does. So right now I've got Imperial Tools metric. That's the, the standard ones that came with the program with the update. So if I hit merge, that brings in. Now I've got all the, the Imperial tools, which is the standard database that comes with the program, the metric tools, which is also the standard one that just comes with the program. And now I've got the My Tools folder with all the tools I've added in, the ones that I use the most that I've got under this special folder. And then I've still got my Mana Tools database and I've still got my Speed Tools database. So this basically matches now what was in my old version. So at that point, and if you if you end up getting the wrong one, all you have to do is hit cancel. So we'll do that real quick and we'll go back and get it. Hit cancel. Would you like to save your changes? No. You go back and look in here. So if you end up getting the wrong one, once you pull it up, look at it, and it's not the right one, just hit cancel, and it'll go back. It won't save it. So let's go back in and get it again, because that was the right one for, for what I was looking for. So import a tool database. And it, it, it'll once you've been in this folder, it'll back up to that. But if not, if you end up in C, like if you end up without it, you go into C, you find program data on your C file or your C folder, and then you go to Vectrix, VCAR Pro, find your old version that you want to get your database out of. You hit open and then backups, tool database, and then this is my newest one right here on the bottom. So I just highlight that, hit open, hit merge. And now I've got all my tools in here. So I'm going to hit OK this time. I want to save that. And we'll go ahead and we'll just close this folder. Close that file. We don't want to save the file. We just are saving the database, but we've already done that. So let's go back to create a new file. Hit OK just to get into a file so we can access our tool paths. Come over here and click that again. And now I've got everything. And I like the My Tools on the top. So basically, I'm just going to highlight the metric tools because I don't ever use the standard ones. I may pull something out of it every once in a while. For some reason, when you try and drop one down, it doesn't stay, but you can move one up. So I just take the My Tools and just move it up to the top. It's kind of funky how that thing works. but so that, I think this is exactly how it was set up. I had My Tools on top and then the... Uh, I want metric tools below Imperial because I don't use metric size tools. I mean, I'm not saying I never will, but as of right now, everything I have is Imperial size. So anyway, this is basically set up exactly the way I had it set up in my old version. So I'm in my VCAR 11.5 now. I've got all my tools set up, so I'm good to go. Anyway, it's pretty simple, but it's, if you don't know, I had to do a little bit of research on it, so I just kind of condensed what my research was and put it into a little quick video. Anyway, I appreciate you watching. Please like, please subscribe, please share my videos. Thank you.